as we continue with this kind of um, question of the critique of society and church and the appreciation of society and church, I want to um, stress one of the points I made in the last um, Wisdom of St. Ignatius. And that's the point about um, not being a hater of church or society, but rather one who appreciates so much within both of those. Um, St. Ignatius in his life was always um, very strong and severe in many ways, but he was also someone who was aware that God had blessed him in a thousand different ways. And there's no way that one can experience the blessings of God without appreciating where they come from. And those um, blessings to Ignatius came from the church that he was born into, raised into, dedicated his life to. And they came from the world in which he lived and from the, 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 the huge number of things that were around him, both in nature but also in society. And so to have a deep appreciation for the society in which one is and for the culture even as one is aware of how it needs to be changed because of injustice or because of a lack of morality or because it distracts people from the most important things, whatever, even to know that, to still have a profound and deep appreciation for that culture for it, you know, would be very important and characteristic of the early Jesuits. To appreciate the science and the learning of the time was one of the things that Jesuits became famous for. Um, and then also to be able to educate others so that they could take their place um, in society as leaders, um, you know, and as scholars um, was very, very important. So there was no hatred of society in any of that. And the, and the same, of course, for the church, um, where St. Ignatius you know, prepared his men to serve the church as missionaries and as educators and as um, you know pastoral you know people he, and that was what what Jesuits were primarily formed to do um, and to as retreat masters too as we try to continue here and and so I think it's important for us that we also appreciate the world around us and the church but in the right way I think in so many ways we, we like what we like because we like it, and because it brings us pleasure or, or happiness, you know. But to love the things that are in our culture and our society because they point to God is just a much deeper and richer appreciation, and one that really allows us, I think, to see the things around us in their true perspective, as they truly are. And, um, and then to be able to, to look at the things we have to criticize you know, and, and, and find problematic, um, not because we don't appreciate them as gifts from God, but because we know that something has gone wrong in their use, or something has gone wrong in the value that they have, they have taken on. And so with Ignatius, let us love the world around us, but let us love the world because it shines out the grace and the blessings of God, and let us then embrace it for that and be able, therefore, um, to encounter um, God in all things. And that's the wisdom of Ignatius for today.